not 15. Armagh continued their promotion push with a four-point victory over Fermanagh at Brewster Park to set up a crunch clash with Cavan on March the 16th. This game was originally fixed for Saturday, but heavy snow in Enniskillen, so the game postponed before the pitch was deemed playable on Sunday. My own memories of Brewster Park whether it was always a heavy pitch, so the weekend weather conditions didn't help recording attractive football. The Orchard County led by two at the break, and once they'd stretched that out to five points midway through the second half, they never looked like losing the game, although they did waste a number of goal chances. Happy with the points, but our shooting was shocking, said McKinney. I think we left a lot behind us. Fermanagh are tight at the back, and they keep that, and then look for mistakes and break. But we probably missed 2 5 to 2 6 in the first half, and more or less the same again in the second half. Fermanagh will stay in games, they're tenacious, and they work extremely hard. Armagh started the game brightly as Blaine Hughes and Connor Turbot registered points before Andrew Murnan then blasted a goal chance over the bar. Turbot was the next to beside a goal, but his effort was saved by the Aaron goalkeeper Ross Bogue. The home side settled to the task after this, and Connor McGee, Declan McCusker, and James McMahon all rattled over scores from distance to put them not four to not three in the lead at the 19th minute. However, the visitors regained the initiative in the period up to half time as the excellent Stephen Campbell, Cian McCampbell, Mernon and Rory Grugan tagged on points, while Peter McGrain blazed over the bar after a quick break had Fermanagh desperately retreating. Conor O'Shea did fire over a late point for the Ironmen to leave it two in it at the half time break, not eight to not six. The gap was back to the minimum at the start of the second half as Ulton Clem clipped over a free. It was over the next period that Armagh tightened their grip on the contest as that extra bit of quality they possessed shone through. Turbot, Grugan, Mernon and Campbell were all among the points as Armagh pushed the gap out to five and that advantage could have been greater as another break had for Armagh. Cornerback Paddy Burns carried the ball deep from deep in his defence as Bogue raced to get back to his goal, but Burns shot wide to the post. Fermanagh continued to battle and Sean Cassidy slotted over a free, while Garvin Jones converted a mark to leave three in it, not 13 to not 10, inside the final 10 minutes. However, Campbell rattled over his third point from play before Hughes drilled another 45 to ensure that Armagh returned home with the points. A third successive to beat for Fermanagh has left them in a battle at the bottom of the table and manager Kieran Donnelly says they will have to take points and positives from the key games against Loud and Calvin. Meanwhile, Armagh have to be mindful next time out as the Calvin game has now become pivotal to both teams' promotion pushes with that head-to-head rule likely to decide who goes up and into a league final against Donegal. They will certainly need to be more efficient with their shot taking against a Calvin side that has improved incrementally as the league has progressed and have developed the knack of coming back strong at teams in the final quarter of games.